What's up, guys? It's a little back with another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys the best and fastest ways to get VC in NBA 2K24. As we know, as the 2K years have gone on, prices have gone up for clothing, for builds, for everything. And I know you guys don't want to spend your money on VC. So you're trying to figure out what are the best ways, what are the best things to do in game to get it. And lucky for you guys, you can see I'm a level 40 starter one already. I'm a 95 overall. I've been no life in the game, figuring out the best methods so that you guys don't have to. I do this video every year it always goes crazy so sub up if you guys have it 92 percent of my viewers are not subscribed if you're one of those people click there at subscribe button sub up today and literally today we are hitting 700 000 subscribers so i just gotta say thank you to everyone that's been supporting me it means a lot we're gonna keep grinding and go crazy this year and without further ado let's get into the video Okay, so the first thing that I have to mention to you guys is something that you definitely don't want to hear, but if you go over to options slash quit, you guys will see get VC. Now, I do not work for 2K. I am not trying to increase the revenue. They're not paying me to do anything like that. I'm just being realistic. Also, these VC prices, these are New Zealand prices. So the far right one, that's 150 US dollars. The 450 KVC one, that's $100. 200 KVC, that's $50. I just have New Zealand prices because you guys know I had to fly to New Zealand to get my videos out early. But yeah, if if we're being realistic if you were to grind things out it would probably take you a few weeks so yeah you can do that it might not be a lot of fun so i just say bro just make the investment spend 50 dollars or even 100 if you got it like that to upgrade your build get your animations and everything like that because i mean this game do be taxing sometimes even if you want to fit bro a lot of the clothes are like 20 kvc so i did have to mention this i know you guys probably didn't want to hear it but it may just be a sign you know what i'm saying like it's just something that you just might have to do if you want to have fun on this game at least fast because if you want to have fun maybe it'll take you a few weeks if you were to just grind it out in all the offline game modes definitely not getting vc fast in park with a 60 overall that's for sure the next thing that i want to mention i feel like is a very underrated one and that is going to be the season rewards once again we are starting off with some optional methods but i figured i would mention it because anything vc related i want to tell you all about in order to get vc from the season rewards however you do have to buy the season pass i think it's ten dollars or twenty dollars i spent 20 to get the the highest one because you know i'm a content creator for the content but look at this right here off rip i got 15 kvc from this again i spent 20 us dollars for this but i didn't only get the vc i get a ton of different rewards you guys can see at level 2 2500 vc at level 5 another 2500 if i keep scrolling you guys will see there's a bunch of different vc rewards but at the end there are some vc rewards for 5000 as you guys are seeing here and then 10000 right here so i did the math and the premium season pass actually gives you 65000 vc so if you're considering buying vc maybe just get the season pass cuz you're going to get 65 5k and you're also gonna get all of these rewards you're gonna get double xp coins you're gonna get my team stuff which i know a lot of us don't play my team maybe we do but you also get skill boost you just get some random extra rewards gatorade stuff like that so we're getting the two quote unquote pay to win options out of the way early but i figured i would mention them for the next one we actually have a fun one click rate bumper on your controller or if you're on places like it's r2 that'll show you the nearest station so if you want to go in here then you're going to want to go to the beach now i don't know if they have this at any of the other locations however i know know that they have this at the beach and this is going to be the daily pick them they've had this in the last few two days you guys can see this machine right here if you go up to it and click a it says daily pick them predict winners for each day of the nba schedule win vc and more awesome rewards so not only do you get vc from this but it's also pretty fun because you get to kind of predict the games as they happen throughout the year i'm not sure what this game is it might be for preseason but when the full nba schedule is going on in october november december they have every single game here and you can predict each game let's just say i'm going to go with the Timberwolves submit now you can choose win 100 VC for each correct pick or I believe there's another option usually which gives you like 200 VC but you need to get every single pick right and you get 200 VC for each of them we're gonna get into some crazier VC making methods but these are just things that'll take you like literally one minute and you can make potentially like a thousand two thousand VC on any given day all of these VC methods especially the easy ones add up over time once you confirm your picks it'll say games in progress check back later also to claim your VC because I've seen this in previous years obviously I can't claim anything right now the NBA season hasn't started. You have to come back to this machine and it'll tell you what picks you got correct, which ones you got wrong. It'll give you your VC and then you can make your picks for the next day. Now, the next thing that I need to tell y'all about is the daily rewards, aka the wheel spin. So this is the one for Rise right here. However, if you guys are in the elite affiliation, it is all the way over there. You guys can see the E with stars. It is right here. So basically you will get free rewards once per day. And if you guys haven't joined an affiliation, if you want to join the elite affiliation, you got to talk to this guy right here. Once again, if I pull 
pull out the map, I'm at the beach, so the bottom of the city. You gotta talk to Chris Manning, however. I talked to Shakedown, who stands right here to join the Rise affiliation. You can get not only VC, but you get double rep, you can get skill boost, Gatorade, a ton of different things from these daily rewards. So I'm actually gonna spin mine right now on camera, so I might get something crazy right here. I'm just gonna say it right now, I do not want double rep because I believe that starts immediately and I'm going to be recording the rest of this video and editing it, so that would not be good. You can also get like unlimited boost and potentially unlimited Gatorade. So let's go ahead and spin it. Okay, Mr. Runny Pants. What, bro, what is his name? He's gonna spin, so let's actually see what he gets. Mr. Runny Pants got 10 games of steel boost. Like I honestly feel like they buffed the rewards this year. Like last year they were kind of mid, now I feel like they're better. All right, let's see what we get. And guys, you can do this once per day. I believe it resets at 3 a.m. Eastern. And come on, give me VC, give me VC. Oh, oh my God. I thought I just got like a limited skill boost. Five skill boosts, five games of skill boost. I'll take it. Again, you can do that once per day. Also, let me just show y'all. If you go into the subway station and then go to your affiliations park, again, I'm Rise, so I'm gonna be going to Rise affiliation. When you come out of this little subway area, right nearby it is going to be another daily spin. So if you just wanna spin it here, you can just go right behind the subway station in the elite park. They have the same thing. And you guys can see on the bottom of the screen, next daily reward in 11 hours right now. If I press start, it is 3.35 p.m. Like I said 3 a.m eastern it resets and you can do it again the next thing that we got to talk about is a low-key glitchy and i'm talking about quest so we got to press start go over to the quest button and then bang all of the quests pop up and a lot of them like not only the side ones or not only the season quests a lot of these give you vc like if i scroll down here you got the daily street ball challenger take on the guest challenger from any street ball court menu like you could just shoot like seven shots make them in like what three minutes get this street ball game over with bang 750 vc i think you also get vc from playing in the game but so that's like a thousand vc right there and then right here there's a weekly street ball challenge you need 100 dunks on any street ball court like that's pretty easy and bang you'll get 3000 vc if you're going no VC spent, that's an easy 3K. And also, like I said, just by playing in each game, you're getting VC per game too. Like if you win a game, you're probably gonna get like 300 VC for playing in that select game. Now here's where it gets crazy. I am under the side quest. And if you guys can see the special ones, these aren't anything crazy. This one's for 750 VC, but I think it's a little bit difficult. I don't know how to do that, to be honest. I don't know what complete finishing GOAT mode skill NBA means. I think it's something in my career. But you guys can see, forgetting all of these takeover perks, like this one, you get 750 VC. This one, you get another 750. A lot of these perks will give you 750 50 VC along with the perk, which these perks are all very good to have. And if you get all of them, you get the accelerator perk, which is the best one in the game. If we keep going down, we have the badge perks. Once again, 750 VC for all three of these. Then we have the performance multipliers. Again, you're getting the multiplier, but you're also getting 750 VC on top of it. And this is what I mainly wanted to show you guys. We have the daily slash weekly quest. So if you guys are new to 2K, you might not have known about these, but these are actually fire. So you have a few different people that I give you quests. You guys can see Hendrix Cobb. We got ATM. We got Red Thompson. Chris Matthews. So you have your daily rewards, which I have not talked to Hendrix Cobb so far today. But if you click Y on the challenge, it will actually view it on the map. So you know exactly where he is. So he stands right there, I guess. All you got to do is click A to talk to him. And then he's going to give you a simple challenge and bang. You just do the challenge 750C right there. Also, it might have been something you were already going to do. Like if you were planning on playing my career or if you were planning on playing park, it might just be like get 50 points in the park today. And you were already going to do that. So it's just extra VC added on. Make sure you're talking to these guys if you need VC. You also have the weekly stat challenge. This resets once a week, obviously. And this is for 3,000 VC. If we go down to ATM once again, he has the daily challenge. And then he also has the weekly challenge for 3,000 VC. Then you got your pro-am challenges with Red Thompson. Again, 750 and then 3K for the weekly. And then you have the rec one. 750 for daily and 3k for the weekly even if you go to the season quest bro they give in 2500 vc for stuff you are probably already going to do playing 3v3 games in the park and then also a rec quest if you guys play rec or if you're planning on it bang you're probably going to do this anyway i believe if you guys do this race of the week you get 2500 vc as you guys can see in the reward section in the bottom right so make sure you're doing this the next thing that i want to put you on to is possibly the best way to get vc every single year however there are a few pretty far ways that i'm still going to get into but this this is gonna be playing my career, which I have not done yet. I've strictly been grinding park. However, let me put you on to something. If you guys go over to options slash quit, and then you go to settings, I swear a lot of people don't know about this, especially if you're new to 2K, you guys see game difficulty on the top. Not only does this change your game difficulty, so if you go down to rookie, you know, you can play on that, 
we get on to rookie here you can see right when you change your game difficulty this screen pops up adjusting game difficulty will modify the amount of vc and my points earned in nba games as well as how easy it is to earn badges so if you guys play on rookie difficulty yeah it's going to be easy but you're not going to get as much vc and you're also not going to get as much my points so it's going to be harder to upgrade your player you guys can see pro is the default one which gives you basically normal vc 100 vc and then 100 my points modifier and if you guys really want to lock in and if you're brand new to 2k i probably don't recommend this because it's going to be difficult but if you guys go on hall of fame or even superstar you guys can kind of mess with it and see what's your perfect like setting for you which will give you the most vc if you guys play in hall of fame you're gonna get 160 percent vc also the 160 points my points modifier and if you guys are playing five minute quarters on pro for example in my career you're gonna be getting like a thousand vc per game maybe even more i heard people were getting like 1200 a little bit more than that bro if you play 12 minute quarters hall of fame i'm not saying i recommend it but you will get a ton of vc honestly for me i would probably just keep it on five minutes and either go hall of fame or superstar also when you're in my career there's always been an option when it's like past halftime to sim out with vc however you do have to have a decent lead i know some years it's been you need a 15 point lead some years it's been 21 points so when y'all get a lead and it's the second half literally if you're playing five minute quarters this will take you 10 minutes to get through the first half not even because they'll probably sub you out so it'll take you like what six minutes if you're not a starter too oh my god it's gonna go fast if you're in the second half and you see your team with a massive lead press start and go to quit and see if it says sim out with vc because that is gonna be the meta i also know some years has been a method where if you get like takeover and then you foul out it will give you vc for that game and you can do that mad quick you guys could try that but i heard that it's not working so i guess that's not in 2k24 also if you guys press start and then go over to progression you guys will have an endorsement tab here if you have been playing my career like i said i've only been playing park if i go to city stats you guys can see my record 253 and 27 honestly that should be a lot better i know it looks really crazy if you're like new to 2k but it should be a lot better i shouldn't have that many l's but the main point of this is that i have have not been playing my career if you do you will have your endorsements tab here where you can get a bunch of different brand deals and these brand deals start to add up you pretty much don't have to do anything maybe you'll have to go to an event in the city which is just like a little cutscene. and these brand deals like doordash gatorade i don't know what other brands they have in the game this year i think ruffles is one they give you a lot of vc pretty much just for playing my career so that's pretty far make sure to check your endorsements tab or your brand deals tab whenever you can for the next vc making method and this is quite possibly the method that i would do i think Think it might be the best method in the game and you want to go to the beach for this one and the reason that i say that this is the one that i would do is because i'm a person that i like to have fun while i'm getting vc so i want to find a fun game mode i could actually enjoy while getting a decent amount of vc now i'm not just running down here for no reason i am going down here because the pro-am building is down here you guys can see you got your 5v5 doors right there and you also got the 3v3 doors at the end so once you guys have your team and you have your friends again the thing for this one is you need teammates so if you don't have teammates this one isn't for you however i do have some methods for y'all so stay tuned so this is where you go to play but if you press start and then go all the way down to the city tab you guys can see pro m33 creator join a pro m team so you want to press a on this and bang you can make your team or if your friend made a team and you can go over to invites you guys can see probably these are just like supporters that invited me to their teams you can accept your invites on this screen right here so playing a 3v3 pro m game actually gives you about 400 to 500 vc for just winning the game keep in mind you probably got to win the game if you're losing it and say it's a close Close game you'll probably get like 200 vc but if you get blown out i mean you're probably getting like what 50 vc maybe even zero if you win the game you're gonna get like 400 to 500 vc and the glitchy thing about perm 3v3 is they have a player of the game so if you're player of the game you get an extra 250 vc y'all can put your friends onto this or you could gatekeep it from them you know what i'm saying if you're gonna play 3v3 prom with them and you just want to be player of the game then maybe gatekeep this from them i'm sure they're gonna catch on fast though i also did my research i was trying to figure out what gives player of the game because i'm sure you guys want to be player of the game and it seems like the player on the team with either the highest teammate grade or the most points scored gets player of the game now if you have a center on your team and he gets like seven points but like 12 rebounds like yeah he'll probably get it but i think the main thing is teammate grade and or point scored i also heard the point guard usually gets it but it is possible if you guys are a center bro, if even you just score like eight points in that game get a few boards get like five boards and a few assists because assists help the teammate grade i'm sure you centers will be getting it too if you're a lockdown then i mean that's gonna be kind of to get it i'm not gonna lie just walking in line with all my npc bot friends yo why is it so red over here i literally can't even like make out the yellow on my jersey because of this i'm currently walking to the next vc method but yeah if you guys haven't make sure to sub up Road to one mil i'm plugging y'all with the best tips all year and obviously i'm making creative fire content you know we're gonna be making some bangers this year okay so the next one we're gonna go into the subway station and you guys can either go to elite or rise it doesn't really matter you just want to go to a park for this and this one's gonna be simple but i had to put it in the video 
this is just gonna be playing park games i noticed that you get more vc this year from playing park last year it was not as much as you get this year usually when i win a game i get like 420 vc so around 400 to 500 vc per park win even if you lose the game you still get like 200 vc if you you know put up a fight if you get a blown out 21 0 then i don't know how much vc you're getting off that and park games take you like seven minutes so if you go on a little streak seven minutes per game you're getting 400 to 500 vc that adds up and it's also probably one of if not the most fun options on the entire list for the next one we have to go back to the beach loki i should have just banged out all the ones that were at the beach you know in a row when you come out of the subway station and you go right over here to the right you guys can see this first building here and this is the theater if you guys don't have any friends or okay that sounds a little crazy but it's true a lot of a lot of people watching might not have any friends or they might not have any friends that play 2k or maybe their friends are just offline you guys can go in the theater this is matchmaking so you guys can see on the top right there 1v1 city games and there's also no squad 3v3 so you can't even go in there and verse squads it's literally a bunch of randoms playing with each other or over here you guys can see we got heater start hot or losers out 2v2 you got the banners up there at the top of the theater like there's some movies obviously you just want to walk in here go into the theater and these games will probably take a little bit longer than park so for park i said it's like seven minutes per game this is probably like what eight or nine around 10 minutes per game just because it is with random so the games might take longer however sometimes there are modes in here that will be shorter shot clock so literally faster games or the game will end at like 11 points or 12 points they give you a bunch of different game modes in here each week it resets once a week and these games will again give you 400 to 500 vc per win okay so for the next method once again i am still at the beach at the bottom of the map on the city and this one is another one where if you don't have friends or even if you do have friends you can play this with friends this can be another fun one is the wreck if you guys don't have teammates and you just want to go in with no squads because actually let me go in here and show you guys okay so now that i'm in here you guys can see it's packed there's a lot of people playing wreck you got the no squads door and you also got the squads door so if you have friends you can go in with squads but if you have no friends and you're gonna play no squads low key make a tall center with playmaking not only is this gonna be good for rep you're gonna grab so many boards and then also like throw it on the break you're gonna get a ton of assists that is great for rep and also you're gonna get great stats you're gonna get more vc and in the wreck you get like a thousand vc per game some games you'll get more even if you have a great game you'll get like i don't know 1200 1300 vc this will take you like 25 minutes with loading screens obviously it's like what 20 minutes per game if you just have the quarters but there's obviously gonna be timeouts you're gonna have to load in load out a game so it's like 25 maybe even 30 minutes and you can get around a thousand or a little bit more than a thousand vc per game now for the next vc making method and i am still at the beach by the way the 2k just added so many different game modes so many different options that you could just bang out and just get a ton of vc just at the beach i like this they got all the different game modes lined up and then if you go all the way to the end over here you guys know about the anti up if you're new then maybe you don't but i'm about to show you you guys can see i'm not even in the anti up yet and my vc already appeared in the top right you might be wondering why obviously if you're branded it's okay if you've been playing 2k you already know about this but you can wager your vc on these courts you guys can see right here you can put up 10,000 VC. If you win, you get the opponent's 10K VC. But if you lose, they get your 10K VC. Now, I gotta put a warning on this. I do not recommend this. If you're new to 2K, if you're a casual, let's be honest. If you are not good at the game, I would not recommend coming in here. Or if you do, maybe go on a lower court you go on the 100 vc court but honestly i don't know why you do that because the players in stage are just they're just better than players in park they just are and why would you play for 100 vc when you could lose 100 vc like it doesn't really make sense you could just get that vc in park but if you're solid like i'm probably gonna start playing in here pretty soon i'll be streaming it obviously sub up turn on notice you guys don't miss the streams you can put up vc and make it another thing is after you win each game in the stage there's like a little lottery system you guys can see on the back wall up there current jackpot 1.6 7 million okay i don't know why i just went to that vc screen it's gonna come back in a second there it is current jackpot 1.7 million vc so if the stars align and you win jackpot you will get that vc which is just absurd however the last like two 2ks this has been glitched and no one has won jackpot 2k's argument is probably going to be that oh it's just so hard that no one's won it but i swear bro it's glitched because in previous 2ks people would win it like once a week or like once a month like it would be very rare but it was still possible to do for the last method that i got for y'all you actually want to quit out of the park so if you guys are in the park right now quit out and go to the main menu okay so now that we're on the main menu i believe you could click left bumper and right bumper you guys can see in the bottom right hand corner there's like a little something playing but if you go down here to 2k tv click this now while you guys are watching 2k tv little questions like this one will pop up and give you vc which of the following game modes are you most excited to play in nba 2k24 i will be picking i guess my career sure and bang i won 100 vc some of the questions don't even have correct answers like this one but sometimes they'll actually quiz you and give you like a 
an NBA trivia question and you have to get that right. And so as you guys continue to watch 2K TV, questions will just pop up throughout the episode. I want to say it's like once per minute. And this VC adds up just like all of the other methods that I mentioned in this video. When you factor in, if you get the season pass, if you do the daily rewards every day, if you do the daily pick them, you do your daily quests. If you're playing my career and you're getting your endorsements every day, and then maybe you're just playing rec games, they're getting like a thousand VC per rec game. And then you watch 2K TV every time an episode drops, this VC adds up, you're gonna get a lot of VC fast. Something else that I'm going to say, if I go over to options here and go to get VC, you guys will see my VC amount pop up for a short period right there. 507k VC. I'm not sure if you saw it. I'll do it again. 507k. That's how much I have. Guys, when I got on the game, I bought the 700k VC. My build was like 200, 250k to upgrade. I've been just straight up playing park and making that VC back. So yeah, I've upgraded my build and I'm still upgrading my build. Like as I get my new attributes, I'm spending what? It's like 13k per overall usually for me. But in past 2Ks, the the rate where you'd upgrade your build was like higher than the rate you'd make VC back. And so you just keep losing VC. This year, I'm actually maintaining and even making more VC back. And I've only been playing part games. So I haven't even been playing my career, which is a very good method or pro m 3 3 which I would probably be back up over 700 GBC at this point in time. Since I'm plugging y'all again, make sure to sub up. We're going crazy all 2K24. Big 700K. I appreciate y'all for that. If you guys need a jump shot, if you need dribble moves, if you need a build, I have all those videos up on my channel. And if you guys enjoyed this one you'll probably enjoy the one on your screen even more so go ahead click it